If you need to write 5.75 as a fraction, here's how you do it. So let's call this 5.75 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so it's still 5.75, the same value, but now we have the start of a fraction. What we need to do is get this numerator here to be a whole number. And since we have one, two decimal places, two numbers after the decimal place, we're going to multiply that by 100, and that'll give us our whole number. So we multiply 100 times 5.75. When we do that, we end up with 575. So now we have a whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We need to also multiply the denominator by 100. That's because when we divide 100 by 100, it just equals 1. So we're multiplying this by 1. doesn't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 100 times 1, that's just 100. And now we have our fraction, 5.75, that equals the fraction 575 over 100. We can reduce this though, it's not in simplest terms yet. Let's do that. So 25 goes into 575 and into 100 evenly. 575 divided by 25, that gives us 23, and then 100 divided by 25, that gives us 4. So 5.75 is a fraction, 23 over 4. This is an improper fraction though, because 23 is larger than 4, so we could change it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 23 five times with 3 left over, and we bring the 4 across here, and 23 fourths, that equals 5 and 3 fourths. So the decimal, 5.75, equals the fraction 23 fourths, or if you want a mixed number, 5 and 3 fourths. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.